this is uh, Morten from English TV, and uh, I've done so many interviews today, so now I actually have to say good evening to my good friend Julie Watson from Ultimate Technographics in Canada. Julie, welcome on English. Thank you. Glad to be here. <laughs> I mean, I can't. I don't actually know how many times you've been here, but I just I just found it a little bit funny because when I said to you that I I just clicked the record and it counts down from five. Both of us knew, yeah, yeah, that is the same thing as we have always done, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, just of curiosity, when we do this kind of interviews, does it have any impact on, on, I mean, do you get any feedback from the market or is it just, is it just, are we just announcing something to, to nobody or, or what is your impression? Not of English, but more like having this kind of interview because I tend to maybe speak a little bit too much, but I have these kind of conversations. I in particular like to talk to you also because you did the interview with me which has had a great impact on people's understanding of English and several thousand people have seen you as a as the reporter in in, in that prospect how how does the how does a, a presentations like this impact uh, ultimate I think it's a excellent way to get our message out. You know, as a small company, of course, you can do events to meet people face to face. But another great way of getting, you know, the messaging out is is through, you know, partners such as yourself. And of course, uh, when we hit record and press stop, we think, you know, the impact is is this small and then who watches. But in fact, through time, I've had, you know, on several occasions, people tell me, oh, I, I watched, you know, this this video at this time and and you know and then there's a follow-up action or a follow-up discussion from it so we've definitely seen a, a positive impact mm. uh, that sounds great because the reason i'm asking is not so much to get uh, any uh, roses of <laughs> our collaboration <laughs> but more because i think that that in in these times it is uh, important uh, because i wouldn't say that i mean software and hardware gets easier and easier to use but more and more complex in what they can achieve And therefore, I think the, the communication about these things are tremendously important because, I mean, we are today talking about a, a, an article and a press release that was released by you this week uh, about, a, let's say, an exp extension of a relationship you already have with Horizon in Japan. And, and therefore, I think that, you know, the impact of these, let's say, collaborations is done because you want to serve your customers, your joint customers, even better. So that's why I think it's important that, that there is some kind of resonance to what, what you and I are doing right now. Yes, definitely. Mm. So, uh, Julie, um, Canada, Japan. <laughs> It's a distance, right? And uh, and of course, there is a distance in culture. But both of you are global companies, and I actually remember the first time I met your colleague Ray, and uh, that was actually in Japan at an event uh, made by uh, uh, by uh, Horizon. Uh, tell us a little bit how how is your relationship? How did you get started with working with Horizon? I mean, it's been a very long time and there's a, a long history. It's The focus has always been about finishing automation. I think this is the main point in common that, you know, brings the two companies together. You have on one hand a hardware company and on the other hand a software company. But if you want to achieve, you know, if the end user, end customer, the, cust the, the, the print service provider wants to achieve true end to end, he has to tie in multiple uh, pieces together. And some of these are software, some of these are hardware. So the advantage of this kind of partnership is to say, you know, we're two providers, software uh, and, and hardware vendor. We're working together to make sure that not only does the solution offer the automation, but it is actually translated into, you know, smarter and better implementations also at customer site. And so I think this is really, really important. It's an important news also for, for end users that want to achieve this next step of finishing automation. You know, we've been automating to the press for years. It's all about getting that file to the press as fast as possible. But now it's also about uh, automating the finishing. Otherwise, you lose all that time if if that extra that last step that final frontier is not automated right oh you think it's the final frontier <laughs> but it's not i promise you there's way more to it but that's that's for another another episode <laughs> but but uh, i want to i want to i want to go a little bit back so i was just wondering is when when vendors connect with each other is it like you meet at a trade show you shake hands and then exchange business cards and you do like the boeing and you know get into 
to to having at least a recognition of each other in the market or i mean what is the actual process of is it just a call or i mean can you call anybody in the industry and say hey i'm julia i want to work with you guys <laughs> i mean to have a, a long standing su successful partnership obviously starts at a first meeting point. I mean, there's a first meeting point to, to any partnership relationship. Uh, however, it's also how you build up a, upon that. So, uh, you know, Ultimate has been focusing on finishing automation software for years now. We started the, the initial process project in 2008. And through these years, we have, you know, several implementations of several different types of devices and handling different customer integrations. And then the confidence of the mutual solutions working together builds through time and through experience. And so when we're uh, presenting the solutions into the market today, it's more than a simple hey, we know each other, we work together. <laughs> we know our solution can work together. But it's actually more than that. It's a combined uh, amount of experience that, you know, we hopefully have uh, more and more end users benefit from. You know, end-to-end -end automation is not just for the big, big customer. Uh, it's also for medium-sized, small-sized customers. They can actually benefit from it quite a bit. And I think the message is that there are solutions out there that are, you know, Uh, easy uh, or easier to implement if working together and uh, if we if we all come together as partners we can make it happen mm. um, I like that approach and I think it is uh, well aligned how I both know you and Horizon and also how I see Inkish as part of this let's say collaborative world uh, today um, I can't help think about that when you work as a software company, I, it may be a wrong assumption, but I would think that, okay, you sit with your developers, make a decision, develop something, put it to market. How difficult can it be? And then you have hardware manufacturers. That must be a totally different ball game because they have engineering power and they have like all these kind of things that goes into the machinery building as well. Do you sometimes get an impatient with working with hardware companies because they don't, uh, let's say, uh, push their envelope uh, as uh, as fast as, as maybe a software company can? That's a tricky good question, Morton, because I've always been an impatient person. So, <laughs> I mean, my, fa so the answer, my father so used, the is yes. used to always tell me that great things happen to people who are patient and learn to wait. So, I've spent the majority of my life learning and implementing this. So, um, all this to say, for sure, things can go faster as a software uh, company in, in a certain way, but the whole validation is also key to plug and play integration with manufacturers and these types of partnerships and collaborations make the technology uh, capable to 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 be useful for end users it's this collaboration also in testing with um, uh, manufacturers the way we do with our finishing program uh, we build each driver right now we're supporting you know over 30 drivers from horizon wow. just to, to say mm -hmm. and for each of these uh, devices we we really implement according to the specs from the manufacturers but we also work with them to ensure that Uh, we do the testing and validation as well. So we remove this, you know, from from uh, customers. Mm. So it, I mean, so what I understand from what you're saying is that it is, it seems like a mutual benefit because uh, if you have software that can support the equipment on the floor, they can sell more equipment. If they sell more equipment, you can sell more solutions. So it seems like a symbiosis, right? Well, right now there's a timing in the market. There's definitely a timing in the market where finishing automation is becoming, you know, even Uh, we all know, knew that it was important, but a lot of customers would say, yes, I know I have to go in this direction. And we fast forward to today and customers are saying, or they're implementing it. They're, they're, they're actually, um, you know, in the process of changing the way they work because of the different challenges in the market. As you know, uh, shorter runs, uh, more, more inkjet printing, uh, faster turnaround times, tight SLAs, uh, shortage of staff. I mean, we all know what the challenges are. And uh, one of the key points is, is automation. So that's where mm. I think today is, is there's a real focus on this. Mm. So um, the 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 latest uh, let's say uh, uh, press release statement about the collaboration with Horizon. What is the implications of that one? 
um, what do you mean by implications? I mean, I mean, what is it that you have? What is new? I mean, because you said that you worked with them for many years. So, what is the new thing with the with the statement? Right. Well, there's definitely an enhanced uh, collaboration in uh, which case the teams are working very, very closely together, uh, and also as well as Horizon is is really focusing on providing solution to their customers, and they're uh, obviously um, uh, organized to do so. So I think this is uh, this is definitely a key point of coming together, and uh, at the end of the day, it's for to benefit the end users. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, uh, so it's not like a it's not like a product launch that you have done together. This is more like actually a more like a statement to the industry that that you and Horizon have decided to work closer together. On certain aspects of the automation part of binding, that that is more the case, right? It's definitely a a statement, but the innovation happens throughout multiple products and multiple implementations. So there isn't a single product or implementation that we're announcing with this news, but we are definitely uh, announcing that uh, there's a focus on finishing automation, bringing software and hardware together to the market. And this will translate in a series of, of innovations to come. Oh, now you, <laughs> you really teased me now, right? That is so unfair, Julia. <laughs> um, great. Uh, the way I know both you and Horizon, it seems like, um, as you, you say that you're a smaller company, but you have a legacy, you have a long-standing uh, I mean, you have many customers. You have you have established yourself as a well-established company in your segment. One of the things I like about Horizon uh, is that uh, I got to know uh, Yoshihiro Oi, uh, who was the uh, the CEO of uh, uh, Horizon GmbH until recently. And what I learned from him when I met with him was like uh, that the, uh, that Horizon has like you know a lot of Japanese companies have a very Japanese mentality. But with Horizon, I think they have realized that the beauty of internationalization and globalization is to collaborate and learn and work with different cultures and, you know, really appreciate the differences in humans rather than just focusing on, let's say, a geography, basically, right? Um, have you noticed a change in the relationship in, in that perspective or is it just mine, uh, uh, my view on, 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 the, on the change that I see with Horizon du- during the past maybe five, six years? Um, you know, from our perspective, we've always viewed Horizon as an international uh, company, right? So, of course, they're 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 Japanese, just as we are based here in in Montreal, but uh, with an openness towards you know the international markets. And uh, I think this is something that's also common with Ultimate, where uh, where we're yes, we're a small company, but we have resellers and partners and customers around the world. So uh, definitely uh, understanding and being open to different uh, cultures or different ways of seeing things is key uh, and, and, and achieving mutual understanding. Mm. Um, that was a very nice political answer, so I like that very much. So thank you very much, uh, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> we won't get into too many problems with that answer. <laughs> no, no. Um, uh, final question here, because uh, I, th- I think this is really, really great and I think uh, your answers are um, aligned with what I was expecting. Printing United is coming up, yes. and I know that you have uh, big expectations for the show, and also know that's an important, obviously an important show for you. Will your relationship with Horizon will that in any way be visible at uh, Printing United from your perspective? Our, our relationship with Horizon, I think, is going to be visible at you know a lot of events up and coming uh, with you know presence of our, uh, our solutions working together. Definitely, uh, for Ultimate Printing United is also a very important event because we are going to be uh, also announcing our second major release for this year. So for those who didn't know, we already had for our flagship Ultimate Impulse Trip one major release around the Hunkler Innovation uh, timeframe, and now we are coming. Out with a second major release inside inside the same year with a series uh, you know with a with a fair number of innovations that uh, we look forward to announcing which is a, a little bit too early but i would say stay tuned <laughs> okay so with that said uh, julie uh, thank you very much for your time here on inkish it was uh, as usual great talking to you and uh, i'm pretty sure that we will see each other at printing united and um, 
just wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.